Happy first birthday, Bree. Big shout out and happy birthday to my niece, Brielle, man. Shots on me, baby. Shout out to baby B, Brielle. Happy birthday. Your very first one. We're going to take a shot of milk together, man. Shout out. Let's go. Big first birthday shout out to my niece, Brielle. Happy birthday, girl. Let me know what you want so I can go get it for you. Happy birthday, Brielle. You know, you got a long way to go in this crazy world. You know what I'm saying? This just chapter one. You know what I'm saying? You got great parents who are going to take care of you. You got a great family behind you and us. Lady to death. Mogul business. <laughs> happy birthday, baby Brielle, for me and baby <laughs> Sasha. We just want to wish you a happy birthday. Hope you got all the blessings and all the gifts that you deserve. Amen. Hey, clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 very special video today is Brielle's first birthday so it is our baby's first birthday it's pouring raining outside so we really plan on having like a little get together well we wanted to do like a party but since the whole COVID is going on we just had like a little get together so kind of like family only so I didn't really invite nobody so don't nobody come on my head talking about you ain't get no invite we ain't really invite nobody so do this for me like this video right now to say happy birthday to Brielle. Like this video right now. I'm gonna get, it takes two seconds to like a video. Like this video for my baby. I'll give y'all five seconds. All right, y'all like the video? I bet some of y'all still ain't like it, but it's all good. We was gonna get like a, a big blow up slide, but it's raining and it's all kind of stuff going wrong. I ordered her a little, you know, a little baby G-Wagon. I ordered a lot of stuff for her and nothing came in because, I don't know. Tracking and shipping is just backed up, so it is what it is. So we're going to do a little birth and labor story on how it went down a year ago today. Uh, I really wish we would have started this YouTube way earlier. I wish we could have did a birth vlog. But it is what it is. So we just gonna give y'all the story. All right. So the doctor messed us up on the whole labor delivery. She messed us all up, cause she was due on the thirtieth. Yeah, she was on the thirtieth. But the way she was weighing on the ultrasound, they said basically that she was like nine pounds, eight pounds. She was too big. They said Brielle was gonna be like eight, nine pounds. She's overweight, so we could go ahead and induce her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like so. It was like you can come in a week early. So we pretty much had her on the we had her on the twenty fifth, obviously today, and that's five, like five, five days, days earlier. Yeah. But we had to go to the hospital to get her induced to to get her out because she's overweight. They thought. She was overweight. So we're gonna fast forward a little bit to when we did have Brielle. She came out six pounds. 15 ounces. Six yeah. pounds, 15 ounces. And they said it was, she was eight, nine pounds. So they messed us all up there from the get go. Right, she could have waited until she was ready. And then rewind, we back. So we go get induced and how was you feeling through this? All right, I'm gonna let y'all know. Being induced is not really like a feeling. It's just, you're just sitting there, wired up, IV in your arm. We got like monitors on your stomach. We like, got to the hospital on one day. I forgot what Thursday. that day was. We got to the hospital on the 23rd. The night of the 23rd, y'all. Then the next morning, they put The a, next morning. They put a, don't know what it's been called. I probably that's when you actually induce induced. her. Cause on the 23rd, she didn't get induced. Yeah, I didn't. I got induced after Friday. And then on the 24th, the next morning, I ain't get no sleep. I ain't get no sleep that whole night. I could not sleep. On the 24th, they induced her that morning. I still ain't been asleep. Now let me tell y'all though, they gave her some sleeping medicine that night and she was tripping, talking in her sleep, 
freaking me out. Like, I was like, chill out. Like, chill out. <laughs> like, she talking crazy and her sleep and all. I'm like, I'm over here on this uncomfortable couch. I couldn't sleep. It is what it is. So, next morning she got induced and then they got ended the process up, going. And they, had a, they ended up breaking her water. Yeah, they broke my water. After Still nothing happened. Like she, hour, was, she was so. only like, she was two centimeters or three centimeters. I was already two centimeters dilated before I even went into being. Okay, but well, you was stuck at four centimeters for like 12 hours. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, it was terrible. Anyway. So, anyway, she ended up getting an epidural. Cause I was like, you might as well go ahead and get one. Well, at first. Think skirt, it's gonna go natural. Skirt, at first, I wasn't feeling any of uh. the contractions like you have contractions now like i don't feel anything she, was, she did good and that thing know it just hit me like boom contraction boom it hit her like a level boom. cut <laughs> boom so she got an epidural and that's when things went left down the way left so she i'm like good you no. tell the story <laughs> dad had a pillow so i'm like this okay i like this like get the this the pillow so i'm like this so Brent was in Brent is in front of me right now at this time. So I'm like, no, 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 no. Next thing, Brent's like, I'm feeling lightheaded. I'm feeling lightheaded. I think the needle. I think the needle. Needle like this. She see the needle because the doctor was behind her, like getting everything ready. So I see, I seen him pull out the needle. I'm he, trying to be strong for her. I'm like, oh, he passed. I swear. He, he's about to pass out. So he goes over there to like the. Little right. bathroom area. They had to call another nurse in here to come and assist him and get him some water. So the nurse is in front of me now, helping me while he's just. <laughs> <laughs> I know my limits. Though. Laid over like this. Listen, I done passed out like three or four times in my life. So I know like when I'm gonna pass out. Like I know like when, all right, I'm about to pass out type drunk. And I was at that point. Like if I would have been sitting there for like two more minutes, I would have passed out. So I literally had to go over there and like put my head down. So I'm like, whoa. I seen that needle and like I was, I ain't gonna lie, excuse my language, I was bitching. He was not the one getting it done God, though. I was it scared was for me. you though, I was scared for you though. I wasn't she even did scared. so good, like she didn't do nothing. Like she got the shot, she ain't like scream, she ain't flinch, like she was just sitting there. And I'm over here like going through it over here, I'm like no, no, God. Listen, I seen that needle, it was over with for me. So I'm like, all right, bitch. Got it over with, got my water. I was good. So we in there till that night. Nothing happened. She was sleep through majority because they kept give, they kept giving her medicine and she was sleep through like after the epidural, she was out. And she got the epidural probably like three, four, five o'clock. She was out the whole day. I left the hospital like three times to get something to eat. She didn't even know. I left, went to get something to eat, came back, sitting there bored, left again, <laughs> just because like I'm bored, went to get something to eat, came back. She still sleep, left again. Like I was just like leaving. Cause I'm like, bro, I ain't sleep all night. And it's day two now, and we still ain't like, no baby. She seen making no progress. I was making some progress. Don't get you make like I was, I'm making some progress. Now no less than four, I get you. That's twelve a.m. that night. I was like nine centimeters. No. Yes, I was because I was pushing my life through a car. Yeah, like three o'clock. I was pushing for like, we I was pushing 12. for so many hours, like. All right, so she started pushing at like three, four o'clock. And. We ain't come no It way. got kind of real again, cause I started sweating again. I'm like, oh Lord. I was like, oh my God. I, was, I felt like she did better than he me. He wasn't even holding my leg. So, he wasn't doing nothing. It sounds so crazy. Cause she is the one that gave birth and she did better than me. I was in there like tripping, like she did very good. Like for real, for real, she did good through the whole process. I was in there tripping. So she pushed from like three, mind you, I still ain't been asleep this night too. And I still have not been asleep. I ain't sleep for two days. She started pushing at like two, three o'clock. And it was like, Mine was like nine. Next thing you know, it's like light outside. Next That's how long I was pushing. Like, it was like 5.30. She pushed for like two, three hours. I'm like, this baby not coming home. out. Like, this baby not coming out. Like, she not. So, so the doctor had came in there. They like a nurse in there. The doctor came in there. She like, hey, she watched me push for a little while. She was like, we're going to have to. Give me one season. 
it came in there. I told her she gonna have to do a C-section because the baby does not come in. She wasn't coming. That's period. So, not so not last minute C-section. I already knew she was kind of scared because we've been talking about this before the pregnancy. Like, well, I don't think no girl, the I mean, before. no girl wants to like have a C-section, obviously. So no girl really want to have a C-section. So I already know she was kind of nervous and upset about that. And I was thinking about her, but in my mind, I'm over there like, if I almost passed out on the epidural, in this C-section room, we might as well cancel Christmas, cause I'm out. <laughs> like, I was so nervous. I think I was more nervous than her, and she don't know that. Like, for real, for real. Like, he wanted my mom. I didn't really tell her. He wanted my mom. No, I did not. To come with me in there. No, I did not. And I was like, no. no I did not. You put your gear on. No, I did you not. come on and let no, go. No, look, your mama was like, so, Jada, you want um me or Britt to go in there? Why would I say my mama? And I was like, I don't know what else. I ain't say nothing though. I ain't say no though. I was just over there. Like, and they were like, that put your stuff on, put your stuff on. I'm like, let's go. I was gonna go regardless. I was gonna go. I was just nervous, like way more nervous than her. I'm not even gonna lie. I was sweating. Like, it was a lot going through my mind. Like, yes. when they took her, when they came in there and took her, they ain't, they ain't take me off the rip. They just took her, and I'm still sitting there getting like ready and stuff. Cause she, they, she had to go first. That whole time, I felt like, I, you know, when you finna get in a fight, your adrenaline pumping, like, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't think I was gonna make it. Like, for real, I thought I was gonna pass out. Dead, dead serious. So okay. they came to get me, and I'm walking with the noodle legs. Like, my knees weak, I'm just walking. Like, I'm nervous just thinking about it, cause I remember that feeling, like, oh my God, like, I better go ahead and see all this stuff. So I go in there, they give me a chair, cause I already told them, like, I'm not going in there and standing up, cause I'm gonna fall. <laughs> I sit down, I hold her hand, you know, she's doing good. He like, stayed behind the curtain the whole time. I ain't looked though, I did not, I stayed behind the curtain. I was with her the whole time, and we'll drop pictures um, throughout the whole labor process. We'll drop pictures throughout this little mini video. And I was right there, and I uh, hold her hand and stuff, and then kind of nervous. I wasn't. <clears throat> and next thing you know, got Brielle out. I seen her first, and I was like, really my baby and that like as soon as i seen brielle like soon as i seen her like all that like jittery stuff all that was out like i wasn't nervous no more i wasn't feeling lightheaded like it was out like, i was like that's my baby like i was good and oh, then you know ah. it was kind of a little emotional seeing my baby got to hold her for the first time she over here all under the curtain looking crazy i'm like because i was hungry i didn't eat none that day i was so hungry she ain't eat for two days and i ain't sleep for two days so we was both messed up now i was ready to get her out she did great though like, i'm not gonna lie Jada is a she a fighter she a soldier like it's crazy like going through that process like it makes you respect women like way more like i already respected women but going through that process i don't really know how people can be deadbeat that is like how can you be a deadbeat daddy? Even if you slipped up and it's a, like it's a mistake and you're not trying to be with the girl, like take care of your business, take care of your kids. Cause girls go through a lot. That whole labor, that labor process, that's a lot. That's a lot of work. I couldn't do it. I know I couldn't do it, but she did very good. And um, I mean, I'm blessed. We blessed. My baby's one year old. This year flew by, like it flew by. So, we probably gonna have like one more baby, not no time soon, but in the future. So by then we'll have a birth vlog ready for y'all. But we just had to tell y'all that story since we ain't really have a birth vlog and we ain't have the YouTube in time. I would have probably went viral. You would have. Cause that was, I couldn't even record. I was playing the whole time. I was messed up. I couldn't do it, but that's that. So let's go ahead and get into the party.